Hi guys, Lugfog here and welcome back to the FIFA 17 Legend Review. Today we're going to be reviewing the 88 rated Danish legend Brian Lardrop. I got him for 276k and in the 5 games that he played for me he scored me 6 goals and got me 1 assist. He has a high low work rate with a 3 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. So let's now get into his in game stats and highlights. Okay, so going into large ups in game stats, the four main stats on his card which stand out to me are his 85 positioning, his 90 dribbling, his 88 ball control, and his 84 finishing. He does not have any specialists and he has the one trait of flair. And uh, getting in towards the highlights that I got with Brian Lardrop, for me, his two main pros are his dribbling and his finishing. I'll start off with his finishing first. For me, his finishing was just fantastic. He only has 84 finishing on his in game stats, but for me, it felt like it was in the mid 90s. It was just so good. He pretty much finished every chance that I had with him and um, yeah his finishing overall was just fantastic and then the second pro being his dribbling um, fantastic to play I mean he does come in as a sensor forward card so he can play either as a cam or a striker and uh, having good dribbling will definitely benefit using him in either of those areas and he also felt really agile as well so he was able to uh, easily get through where uh, the open uh, get through the um, opposition defense and then in terms of cons he didn't have any con for me there was no area where he really struggled and there was no other area where he excelled a lot in to put it down as a pro um, but overall for me he was just a really good player and for 276k he's actually cheaper than that you can get him for around 250 um, and I just think he's a fantastic player to kind of pick up and to be honest I mean between now and team of the season I reckon legends will go up again at some points and then I reckon they'll come back down again. Um, so maybe you could invest in him, but don't 100% trust me because I'm usually wrong about those kinds of stuff. So don't exactly trust me on that. Um, but for me, I did really enjoy him and um, he is definitely worth the coins. You know, you're getting a very good player. Would I play him as a striker? Would I play him as a centre forward or a cam? For me, he's got too many good striking stats to not put him as a striker, so I definitely put him down as a striker. Although I think he could work as a cam, he'd be like a cheap Dennis Burkamp because also Burkamp you can play as a um, as a cam. But um, yeah, overall I really did enjoy him, and um, also just want to mention one quick thing before I end this video is that I've received quite a few comments recently asking about why don't I do non-legend reviews. I mean, occasionally I do some. I did the Suarez SBC, I did Totti and Iniesta. And I did messy. Now, um, I'm happy to do those. Um, it's just, I thought, you know, like, I mean, most of the times I like to do legend reviews because legend reviews are, you know, the place that I do enjoy using most. But if you guys do want to see Bale reviews, Neymar reviews, I'm happy to do them. But they just won't be as frequent as legend reviews. Um, but I can certainly get around to doing those. I mean, I prefer to do special cards, for example, the SBC Suarez and the Totti Nested, and rather a gold standard player. That's just the way I kind of am. The only reason why I did the Messi review was because I packed him, so there was no, and like he's untradeable as well. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I probably will go around to start doing other reviews on like Sabale and Neymar, uh, definitely in the near future. So, um, yeah, but at the moment, I'm going to just continue with a little bit more legend reviews. Um, but we'll just kind of see where we kind of get in the future. But I'd just like to say though, thanks as well for all the uh, support as well on the videos. Um, it really does mean a lot, and I just wanted to kind of take this time just to say that you know it really does mean a lot and the support. So thank you, and um, yeah, that is going to conclude this legend review, guys. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.